I play um, classical piano since I'm four years old. So like the musical, uh, the classical music has always been like a part of um, my life. But mainly I'm more working in the cinema and video. But I think it was only like a matter of time that I would make a project about the music and sound environment. I was at the musical orchestra concert and I was alone so I was more uh, paying more attention to the sound that the orchestra was m making before the show and I realized that uh, I al always loved that sound and that for me it was like a piece in a piece of work in itself so I was interested in uh, trying to make a project that put the sound in the middle of the piece, like if it was the piece in itself. I decided to approach it uh, in a surround way, maybe because of my cinem cinema background, because I'm in interested in the sensorial cinema and uh, cinema that reached all the senses of the uh, spectator. And to do that, I used the uh, different techniques and one of them was like a move a floating cameras like to make the impression of for the spectator to move uh, when they watch the movie so i decide uh, maybe i could do the same but with sound so i had a workshop uh, with uh, on the ambisonic microphone at school and I realized that this was the best type of microphone to do what I was, what I wanted to do, like to move the spectator in the space, because uh, this uh, surround microphone is like a special one. It's uh, you have uh, four capsules, microphone capsules, and when you record, you have to convert it, and after it makes a new format that you can play with the space or the orientation of the microphones. So basically my project uh, warm up is uh, like a sound installation with the ambisonic microphone with the uh, orchestra. I think that the sound is quite uh, long in the concert, but so I don't think it's like working with the time, but really more with the space like not moving in time but more moving in space well when i saw the open call from uh, avatar the, and the art center in quebec that is uh, collaborating with laboral um, i do a little research with my uh, spanish friend and she told me that there was a orchestra like in conservatory uh, in the same building of laboral so because of this and because of the, um, the sound lab, like there's like a part of interested in the sound project, I thought that it would be a great place to, to do it. Because I only had uh, one workshop on ambisonic microphone, all this ambisonic thing was uh, quite new to me. And because of the technic technical uh, aspect, we have to make the project in uh, MaxMSP, which is a programming software. So we thought that it was a good opportunity to make the project uh, interactive. So when I arrived, I thought I would more do a composition, like a composed piece of sound. But now finally it's uh, interactive. So for me, this is like a big change. But I think this is a good, good side of the residency. Uh, for uh, now, I realized that maybe I wanted uh, to do a, a longer residency because <laughs> it seemed like for two weeks for the recording and the interactivity, it's uh, really short. But uh, only two days after I arrived, we went to record the orchestra 
from the conservatory. They were doing a rehearsal, so we recorded with the ambassonic microphone. And after we started to to play with the plugins and the Maxim SP and try to develop like the interactivity side. After we uh, record uh, some individual musicians to to take like closer sound and specific sound. And after I did the like sound editing and now we are finally putting all together for the opening. Mm -hmm.